premature for me to discuss or speculate what caused this collision. What we have to keep in mind is that 13 people died in this crash. We owe it to the families and those killed and injured, as well as the public to conduct a thorough and complete investigation. Uh, once the investigation is complete, it will be thoroughly reviewed and as appropriate presented to the district attorney's office. Um, we had several allied agencies that we worked with here collectively in the uh, area that helped us out today. The allied agencies were Holtville Fire Department, Imperial County Sheriff's Office, and Imperial County Coroner's Office, as well as Imperial County Fire and U.S. Border Patrol, who also responded out to render uh, uh, aid to all the people involved in this collision. It's a very sad situation. Uh, we're working collectively with these agencies to make sure that we find out exactly what happened and come to a, a resolution for this. That's it. Was this a Border Patrol pursuit? This was not a Border po Patrol pursuit. This is uh, not associated with any allied agencies. Uh, we're not sure exactly what caused the collision, but there were no, was no law enforcement involved with this incident. The uh, age ranges are 16 to 55 for the injured and 20 to 55 for those that passed away. Um, obviously, that vehicle was not meant for that many people. Um, it's unfortunate that that number of people were, were put into that vehicle because there's not enough safety restraints to safely uh, keep those people uh, within the vehicle. There are numerous people that were ejected onto the roadway as a result of this collision. So part of our message is to make sure that we get out to our communities and make sure that safety restraints are part of the picture to save lives. We are working with the Mexican consulate to determine exactly who was in the vehicle and make sure we notify the next of kin. Do we know if they were foreign workers? We, we don't at this point. Can you identify the driver? We have identified the driver, but we can't release the name at this point. Have you determined if any of them are U.S. citizens? We have not. There, there were there were children in the vehicle, but we don't have all the ages as of yet. Uh, maybe you didn't know the weight of the case of the uh, semi. How about the other? <coughs> uh, we don't know the rate of speed of either vehicle, so our accident investigation team will utilize their techniques and their equipment to determine the rate of speed uh, prior to the collision and at the time of the impact of the collision. Do you see a lot of accidents out here? We see accidents all over the place, and our, our message to everyone in the public is to one, watch their speed, and to make sure that they're wearing their safety restraints in case they're involved in a collision, so that they're not e potentially ejected from the vehicles. Do we know how long this road will be closed for the investigation? Um, it's going to be closed for quite a few hours. I can't speak about how long because we want to make sure that we gather all of the evidence necessary to make sure we do a comprehensive investigation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, the occupants in the SUV was 25, one occupant in the big rig. In the uh, SUV, we had uh, 12 fatalities on scene. One person passed away the hospital, a total of 13 people have passed away. Can you describe the scene where people ejected with all of the, the, the SUV? What did it look like? So some people were ejected onto the pavement, onto the ground, that passed away as a result of those injuries. Other people were found deceased within the vehicle and then some of the, the walking wounded were able to pull themselves out of the vehicles and they were out as well. So the number of uh, ejected is unclear because once uh, personnel arrived on scene, there were some that were wandering around and some that were already passed away. I, want, I understand with the impact, obviously people were thrown around, but was it, were you able to tell like how many were in the front, how many were in the middle, how many were in the back, like how this impact that many people in No, at this point, uh, at this point it's only speculation. We couldn't tell you where they were seated in the vehicle. Were all the seats in the vehicle or is it Second or third row? Uh, at this point, we haven't uh, haven't really got into that aspect of the investigation. Right. Can you tell us how Border Patrol is helping with the investigation? Border Patrol is helping us with the uh, Spanish language translations, um, as well as a life a life saving aid for all the folks that were involved in the collision. Can you look at how many people are in the vehicle and the speed you know, that may have happened here? Does it look like there was some sort of a, a smuggling or we really can't speak to that that point. It's, it's hard to, to hard to, uh, to to really determine something like that. What's more important for me is to make sure that the families are notified, and we do a thorough investigation to make sure that that, that uh, we know what the cause of the collision was. Can you describe more in detail what we're looking at here?
I, could, I really couldn't speak to that because that's that's what the investigative process is for. Um, all we can say is that those two vehicles did interact and it caused some fatalities as a result of that collision. But uh, we don't want to be premature about the cause of the collision or, or speeds or anything of that nature. So we have to make sure we have a comprehensive investigation completed before we really speak about exactly what happened and how the vehicles ended up in that position. Is the driver among those? The driver of the, of the SUV did pass away, yes. Thank you for your time, sir.